I discovered a really cool grunge effect by accident here in Photoshop, so I gotta show you how to do it real quick. Drag and drop the image that you like. I gotta select the crop. I gotta crop it real quick. Press and hold Alt, squeeze it. And I wanna make a close up portrait actually, as close as possible. Something like this. So we can double down on the details of the skin. Press Enter. Right click on the layer. Convert a smart object. Now let's go to the filter. Go to filter gallery. Make sure to go to sketch and select the graphic pan. I'm going to decrease the stroke length somewhere around 4. The light and dark balance should be on default at 50. Let's go down to the little plus here. And let's go to the reticulation this time. Click on it. And here we got the density. With the density you can go down and change up the grunge in here. So if you increase it, it's going to look more grainy. And if you increase it more, the dark areas are going to look really light. So I'm going to go down some around 20-ish. There you go. Click OK. From here, let's go to the adjustments. Let's select the curves. And I'm going to decrease this to add some nice contrast. Now, if you zoom in, you can see we got a lot of stuff going on in the light areas. So I'm going to need to reduce that a little bit. So select the layer with the model. Let's go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to go increase the radius a little bit more, somewhere around 2, click OK. And I'm going to go back to the curves and I'm going to increase the contrast. You can increase it to the maximum so the noise is going to disappear or you can go and adjust it a little bit lower, something like this maybe. And here I'm going to make it more lighter. And you can go back to the Gaussian blur, double click. And you can reduce the radius to make the image even more sharper or less sharper. But I think I like it this way at 1.5. And you can play around with the curves quite a bit. You can also increase this bottom part to make the black area more grayish and play around with the contrast. And this is how you make this really cool grunge effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.